Hi everybody, I'm Jim. And I'm Rich. And we're playing Resident Rise. And I'm working on my crossbow. <laughs> I am taking apart the storage system. Yes, he is, and now I'm trying to, you know, find spots where I can stick things. There's some chests upstairs. There are chests upstairs in the workshop, aren't there? Mm-hmm. They're full. Oh, cool. So, I'm going to open up my backpack and put some stuff in here. Like all our storage cells. Interfaces and the power. Oops. Okay, goodbye forever. Bye. Where are no. you going? I'm in the. I'm in. The, I'm downstairs. Uh. So, the first thing we need to do is set up for phase two. And phase two, we'll have the storage system just sort of on the grill here while we carve out an actual space for a real storage system. But to do that, we're going to need to give it power. Just thought of something. Jim, where did you put those slimy saplings and uh, leaves? Uh, I'll take the storage system for 500. Did you seriously put them in there? Probably. Oh, I thought for some reason that you'd stuck them over by my greenhouse. Part of get everything out of the storage system that you need for this episode, didn't uh, you understand? Well, I only need them if I want to make the bolts. Um... Wait, you had me go and hunt down material for crossbow bolts for you? Yeah. Fuck you. So we're just going to... We can run this cable across the floor, but we're going to run it underneath right away, basically. I gotta make a quick trip into the nether to that chest because I left my flame string there. Your flame string? Oh yeah. right, flame string is a thing. Yes. And we are gonna need that ender cable. What are you gonna do with the ender cable? The energy conduit. I'm gonna hook up the power system again, or the uh, storage system in there. So what you're saying is I can come down there and get access anyway. Give me like five minutes. Oh, it's probably going to take me that long to get into the nether and walk back. Alright. Get my factory blocks. But yes, there will be access to the storage system pretty soon. I'll just have to jump through hoops to find it. It's in the basement. That's not where I needed you to go. Well, that's where I went. No, I'm not talking to you. Oh. Alright. So, then we're gonna go with the energy acceptor. Through the desert, away from all the things, and watching them spawn right in front of me. Holy crap. And finally, last but certainly not least, a pair of drives. Because, uh, ironically, in order to upgrade the storage system, I'm going to need access to the storage system. Oh, hey, found an elevator. Cool. Do you have an elevator that goes up into your, uh... Hey, why have you got zombies spawning in here, Jim? Ah, oh, don't worry about it. There's, like, two of them. We're going to take care of them in a second, too. Alright, storage system is back online.
Was I right? Is it in there? Yep. There we go. Um, yeah, do you have an elevator up into your workshop? Mm, kind of. It works really well if you've got a jetpack. That's not an elevator then, Jim. No, it's still an elevator. The block says elevator. Oh, you. So while Rick is um, getting ready to complain about that, if he hasn't started already, we're going to make some energy. This is going to be phase one. And I forgot the most important thing that you need with Ender Chests. Ender Pearls? You got it. Oh. Let's go and grab a couple of Ender Pearls out of the storage system. But, and then what this will do is this will give us a way of clearing out areas and putting that stuff directly into the system. Which in turn will make life a lot more useful. Uh, do we have any lapis? Yeah, we have a whole bunch of it. I thought we did. So we're going to get four. I have a crossbow. Cool. It's not going to do me much good because I don't have any bolts for it yet. But I have a crossbow. We're going to make this blue. It's a shirt white. pattern. It's an arrowhead blue. pattern. the fletching pattern. Now, I mentioned that this is going to help me clear stuff out. And it is. Just going to put that there. going to put Franklin here. And we're going to get Franklin to worry. Let's go... 16 by 16, the height of 7, because that's what everything else has been. And yes, we would like that oh, to be inverted. That's the fletching pattern? Weird. Okay. So Franklin's going to fill up on that, because uh, his inventory is going to get full while we're doing that. So. While that's happening, I'm going to take a second ender chest, put it over here. I'm going to need to build an import bus. So we need iron, sticky piston, and an annihilation core. So we've got a little bit of iron. We've got an, one annihilation core left in here. And we are going to need some sticky pistons. Huh. I don't think we have enough RF, Jim. Why is that? It's only 48 million. Yep. We'll get there. Don't worry. I believe in us. Upgrade that entirely to Vibrant. Sooner or later. We're just going to make a sticky piston first. We're actually going to make a few because we're probably going to need a bunch for recipes. Let me tell you something. Applied Energistics loves sticky pistons. So does a lot of stuff. And now we're going to need some cable. Yeah, I told Jim earlier that this uh, episode wasn't going to be me entirely making my crossbow. And uh, you were wrong, weren't you? Well, kinda. Okay. 
Okay. My crossbow's made. I don't have any bolts. <laughs> so now when Franklin empties it into this ender chest, he'll, it'll empty into this one, which will empty it in the store, into the storage system. This is like the slow baby version, but it's a good start. And it'll give us time to construct some of the other things that we're going to need. So we're going to need a couple of different interfaces. We've got terminals. But give me a second to... Crack open that crafting table and put that here. The first thing we're going to make is a crafting terminal because it looks like we don't have one. It needs more cobblestone. I'm just going to double check our. Uh... No, we do not have a crafting. ME crafting terminal, takes a calculation processor, a crafting table, and an ME terminal. And we're going to need another crafting table. Happily, we have some in the storage system. Much bigger table. Yeah. Ah, crafting table. See? Crafting table. Okay. Uh, and here come those zombies and those skeletons. And now we have the opportunity to completely annihilate them. Problem solved. We got tin over at your workshop. Uh, a bit, yeah. Okay. He pours it in here. And then the storage system slowly pulls it out. How slowly? Very slowly right now. You probably need to upgrade the uh, import yeah. bus. Yeah, we're going to make an acceleration card in a bit. Interface for a moment. And we're gonna hop here. Hey, man. Hey. One second, I took the interface off. What kind of monstrosity are you making? Oh, this is this is just phase two. Don't worry about it. Phase three is going to happen in here. Oh, we don't have any bottles in there. Okay. Uh, cobblestone. No, we have a crafting terminal. So now we can use things in here to craft. So if I need a crafting table, I can go. And it'll put those in there for me automatically. Life is great. What we need is an acceleration card. What I need is to remember where I put the silver. I'm gonna grab my calculation processors. So you need to remember where you put the what? Uh, the silver and the signalum. I put them somewhere and I don't remember where. Acceleration card, we need a Fluix Crystal. Which we have lots of because Rick is an excellent uh, storage preparer. Of course, there's the silver. It's where I last looked. So I'll put these in the storage bus, in the import bus, and now it'll clear that out a lot faster. 
What's up, concussion creeper? Fight me IRL! You want a concussion IRL? No, I mean the point is that it can't fight me because I have a diamond sword and it doesn't. You don't have a diamond sword IRL. Never mind. Alright. I'm gonna carve into this space. And now that he's full. Clear out all this room. Cool. So we've got a bunch of other things. Uh, we've got ME controllers, which are going to let us uh, handle more stuff. We've got some interfaces. We need to make some more disks and integrate that. As well, we're going to need a couple more terminal types. Ooh, what kind? Uh, pattern terminal, a crafting terminal, and an engineering processor. Fancy sounding. Realized I'm gonna have to make a trip back into the mining world to see how my quarry's going. Last I looked, they hadn't even finished the top, third, the first layer of dirt. I did. It's sitting next to the uh, uh, thing. Oh, found it. Yeah. No, nah, there's a bunch of gravel and sulfur in there. Oh, take that out and put it somewhere. And the last terminal type we're going to need is an interface terminal. This will be for like. Bunch of interfaces. And I don't remember here. No, those are storage buses. I 100% made a bunch of interfaces. They're there. All right. So right now they're sitting down here, but eventually they're going to go up to. We can do things like oh, I need an ender chest. Okay. So I'm in the right. Uh, and it just makes one. It just works. Well, it just works once you set it up properly. Yeah. <laughs> Right here. One of those. I totally just threw away the lapis that I needed to code that inner chest. The other thing we're going to need is a hopper. Well, maybe you should hop to it. Oh, I am. So now what we're going to do is vacuum out chests into the storage system. We're just going to go around with the dolly and the ender chest and the hopper. And we're going to clean out all the stuff that's been sitting around.
probably also going to want some torches. Torches are useful. Conveniently, there's a whole bunch in the storage system. Finishing with that, I'll light this area just so we don't get killed. That's usually a good idea. Head up to the workshop because that seems to be the place that Rick is complaining about most. Although, with the amount of complaining going on, it's really hard to tell. I like complaining. I know. We're gonna code this ender chest. Blue and blue. Uh, that's not going to work. Your well, armor's plugged into the wall. Yeah, I know. I'm going to get my crescent wrench out and fix it. Okay. We're also going to need a crescent wrench. Well, get to it. There we go. Feed stuff in, into the uh, ender chest. And feed it into the storage system. Are you putting more stuff in that chest? Maybe. Jerk. Jerk! Let's go check out Franklin. That there. That there. He is almost done. So I added a bunch of memory to the storage system, so we should be able to get through this just fine. Hey, Jim, am I seeing just a weird visual bug down here? I don't know. What are you seeing? Oh, uh, come over here. Um, because it looks like your flux duct's not connected right here. Yeah, that's that. That's got to be a visual bug. Okay. There you go. Okay, I just didn't know if you'd wrenched it or something to disconnect it or what. Yeah, no, 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 no. The workshop must stay connected to the power. So, here's the problem with hoppers. Hoppers are slow. I did not realize how slow hoppers were going to be. And he talks about me complaining. Mm hmm, I'm aware. So, we are going to build some. Oh, we need hardened glass, which means we need an induction smelter. Okay. I do not no, have, you have an the alloy smelter. I have an alloy smelter. Can I make hardened glass in an alloy smelter? Maybe. I can. Four obsidian power powder and two lead ingots. Sweet. So what you doing? Who, me? Yeah. I'm about to go powder up some obsidian. Ooh. Remember that obsidian we made a while, a while ago? Yeah. Does it turn into powder in the... Uh, Right? Sa Sagmill. I'm just gonna pull some stuff out of that chest. We're gonna do we're gonna do the chest next to the sag mill next. In terms of things that need to get extracted to the storage system. And while we're doing that, let's make some item dice. Is also more hardened glass and tin ingots. So, got lead, we got tin. Now we need to make sure that this is set to 
Yeah. Alloys. Yeah. You be you busy with something? Yeah. I'm behind you. Nice. Bitch. <laughs> you just refer to me as a bitch? That's payback. I feel vindicated. Do you? Do you well, feel better? Does it make do. you happy? I do. I'm glad I could make now. you feel like that. I feel a bit better We're now. We're such good friends. You know, after all those times you did that to me. What? Sorry, I couldn't hear you over all those times you were being super evil. And all those times you just kind of randomly flew by while I was working on a greenhouse or something and shot me? Oh, yeah, well, I mean, that. Obviously that. Yeah, I feel better now. Good, good. I'm glad. I mean, I'm sure there will be retaliation at some point. Ah, we'll see. All right, let's make we're we're making some glass. I just like how my crossbow one shot you. <laughs> it's good. Now you're in a position to defend against ranged attackers. Yep. Specifically, defend what we have against ranged attackers. Oh yeah, I also have 385 shots before uh, things run out. Like your bolts? Yeah. How many bolts did you make? I just made two bolts, but they uh, Tinker's Construct bolts run on durability. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and each one has 385 durability. Uh, I think I have a total. So, just an idea, between my bolts and my um, crossbow, I have 96.5 hearts of damage in a single shot. Nice. Yeah. Well done, Franklin. We're going to set you up for phase two, and then we're going to close out the episode. Now, Franklin. Excuse me. Uh, Put some of this stuff into storage. I'm carrying stuff I really don't need. It's what feels oh, weird. Story of my life, man. I'll throw my Alamite pickaxe into the storage for now. Ba -ba 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 -ba. But yeah, now I've got a crossbow for defending myself. I won't feel as bad when I go into the nether, because I'm just going to one-shot everything that threatens me. Yep. Oh, the crossbows are brutal. Yeah. Um, and knowing that the bolts run on durability actually makes me want to make a Tinker's Construct crossbow. No, it's my toy. That's fine. I'll make something else. <laughs> so you're going to make a cuboid, Franklin. It is 16 wide. And 16 deep, 7 high, 7 high, and this hollow. So he's going to build this room, and while he is building that room, we're going to put Raphael in here, because we know that if the room is 16 by 16, and it has walls of one, then the floor is going to be 14 by 14. So we'll have Raphael make a platform, give him the right blocks, whoop, best get out of the way. start a little bit of stuff on my uh, mana farm. By a little bit of stuff, I mean I'm replacing some of the sand with dirt. Alright, we'll, we'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Later.